It was a unanimous ruling of Europe's Human Rights Court in Strasbourg on Tuesday. The jailing of Ukraine's former Prime Minister Yulia Tymoshenko for abuse of office was, the judgment said, for reasons other than those permissible by law. In other words, as she's always claimed herself, it was politically motivated. The highest European legal institution in a legal way said that, Mrs. T that the prosecution of Mrs. Tymoshenko in Ukraine had nothing to do with the law, had nothing to do with the democratic standards, had nothing to do with the criminal prosecution. The question now is whether the European Court ruling will have any effect in reducing Yulia Tymoshenko's time in jail. It's unclear whether the decision is legally binding in Ukraine. The Supreme Court might be obliged to review her case, but not necessarily to throw it out. The government has a right of appeal within three months. During her time in prison, Timoshenko has alleged abuse by prison guards, displaying bruises in photographs given to the press. And she's been on hunger strike in protest. Her daughter Yevgenia says Tuesday's ruling is a victory. The decision of the court fully confirms the political motivation of the arrest and detainment, the mockery that was used against my mother. And now on the basis of this judgment, I think the president has the full ability to make a decision about her release, whatever that decision is. The woman who once led the Orange Revolution alleges that her imprisonment was masterminded by President Viktor Yanukovych. It is, she says, a plot to keep the country's top opposition figure out of politics with a presidential election looming in 2015. Out of politics, maybe, but not out of the spotlight. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera.